what I'd like to talk about today uh, is some of the current news that we're having uh, as it pertains to uh, Fast and Furious and uh, the rising prison population and the drug trade. I'm just going to read from an article right now that uh, Obama has now increased uh, debt more than all presidents from George Washington through uh, George Bush combined. So uh, what we're talking about here is a national debt went uh, up about $44.8 billion from September 30th. That means that the uh, less than three years Obama has been in office, the federal debt has increased by $4.212 trillion. Now what does this really actually mean? Well, what this means is that when Obama was inaugurated, we had, uh, obviously we're sitting at the same precipice we're at again, that the globalists have brought us to. This isn't uh, uh, some, uh, you know, poor uh, work. In fact, Barack Obama is working brilliantly for the banks. These people that now he is saying, I'm going to be with the, uh, the Wall Street protesters, the, the uh, own, you know, uh, uh, this whole movement, I'm behind them, yet the bankers are the ones that got him elected. So it's very ironic, you know, the whole thing is just insane. Uh, but again, what we're talking about is that uh, as of Monday, Obama had been in office 986 days, or about 32 and a half months. During that time, the debt increased an average pace of $4.27 billion per day. Were that to continue until his end term ends, uh, we'd stand at $16.8 trillion, an increase of more than $6.2 trillion for Obama's four years. That would equal $53,000 for each American household, or more than $66,000 for each uh, 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 private sector worker. Now this debt has uh, did not exceed 6.2 trillion until 2002 when George Bush was president. Now interestingly enough, uh, they're trying to pass this off like the right and left is the fake. This is the fake paradigm. You see, these people all work for the same in, same forces uh, that are absolutely uh, dedicated to deindustrializing America and taking away our 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 basic rights imprisoning us by, through debt and through insane regulations that they continue to uh, haunt people uh, even after they pay their debts to society and we'll talk a lot about that today um, but right now I would just like to mention a couple more things that'll sort of segue into this is uh, just to understand that the growth of this debt is, is by bailing out the banks could you imagine what would have happened to this economy had that money been given to the people which added up to, as you can see through that mathematics, uh, 53000 bucks. Could you just imagine if you gave every American that amount of money? But these, uh, the, the, oh, they would just be foolish with it and they would spend it. Well, well what, are the, what are the bankers doing? Hoarding it, not putting it back, not giving the loans, uh, making the criteria harder uh, because of, the, uh, of their own deception to get the people to... Uh, buy homes thanks to Clinton, uh, making it easier for home ownership. Uh, and now they just reverse that once the people are trapped in these homes that they're now underwater. And uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of muck in the mire right here. Anyway, Obama hold, held a uh, press conference and he claims that Holder, that Eric Holder knew nothing about Fast and Furious. He knew nothing about this. Now this is all related. You see, the debt, the enslavement of the people, bringing the drugs in, um, prosecuting the people that use them, and, the, and, and, the, and crushing their competition. This is the way the New World Order operates. These collectivist banks, like the, the, the owners, the controllers, okay? Banks like Wells Fargo and Wachovia, who, who on record got caught laundering $379 billion of drug money, yet no, no, no. We're going to give you a $160 million fine. That's like you and me getting fined 100 bucks for a parking ticket. And we'll talk about parking tickets and tickets and uh, over-regulation and revenue generation, again, to, to send this money offshore and to continue to deindustrialize our nation. Um, so Obama held this press conference saying that Eric Holder knew nothing about it, but meanwhile, he was on record a year ago. There's, he's literally on record on on CNN saying that uh, he was aware of this, and now he says he doesn't. So that's all always that's always fun. That's always nice to, to hear. Now Obama and Holder uh, were also, of course, busted uh, because of this cover-up. And Gunwalker uh, had a great uh, this whole project with Gunwalker and 
uh, and Fast and Furious documents are now been released by the White House, uh, which show extensive communications between the ATF agent in charge of the Phoenix office, Bill Newell, who led Fast and Furious. And uh, the thing that's really interesting or where this thing is moving is now you have to understand that the CIA and the ATF are working together. The CIA bringing in the cocaine from Mexico. Uh, connections with the Sinaloa cartel are now uh, on record, but nobody's paying attention to this. Nobody's talking about it. And, and that's why these issues must be raised. Why do you think prison populations are as they such? Why do you think they allow uh, all these illegal aliens and, and people to come into our country and, 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 and bring drugs and do drugs and, and drag on society and lower wages? Why do you think? Why do you think corporations are given lo loopholes to, to take jobs away? Why do you think mayors from cities in the United States go to China to, uh, to see how their sister cities work? Uh, because we're being moved into this, um, this, this one world order collectivist government, um, you know, and all of the, the, the top bankers and financiers and corporation owners are all going to do this. They are going to take away the, 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 the states. There'll be, the nation states will be eliminated all for a global government to, to put taxes and carbon taxes and destroy each each economy as it goes along so what's happening in Europe is not a mistake they've done this over and over again they did this in the Great Depression uh, by causing the Great Depression <laughs> and all the people that were on the inside got out of the market I mean it's just horrendous uh, books that should be read uh, you should read everybody who's listening should read Eustace Mullins the world order written in 1985 it's an it's a keen insight how our own government actually invested with uh, with uh, forces to promote communism I mean this is on record uh, Hoover uh, the same thing with the Germans and and in, in with the, the rise of the Nazis and it's just an unbelievable connection without even getting into the fact that of course the Rockefellers and, and their influence through uh, through the Council on Foreign Relations sets the, the, the basic protocol for American uh, uh, State Department and foreign, af foreign affairs uh, through, the, through the United Nations, which is really no, no more a, a United Nations, uh, it's a front for, for criminal activity and, and warmongering and, 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 uh, and uh, corporatization of consolidating assets and, and resources and, and swallowing up small little guys, putting people out of business. I mean, the robber barons that were the Rockefellers and, and, and the Carnegies, known as robber barons in the 19th century, I mean, they just got a better, you know, they got a little bit of a, a, of a Madison Avenue and, uh, uh, you know, polish up, and they're a little bit slicker now, and uh, they got these great slogans in television to make the, all, this, all their tyranny look so great. Like, here, take Boniva which used to say that uh, it would stop and prevent and even, redu and even uh, re reverse the, the signs of, uh, of uh, osteoporosis. Now, of course, they had to retract that. But, of course, they do it very quietly and retract it, and they say that it doesn't do anything. It doesn't prevent. It doesn't stop. But still, ask your doctor about it and take it, because your insurance will cover it. Anyway... This is what's going on. So Fast and Furious documents released by the White House show that, of course, there was complicity. Eric Holder should be, aside from, he should be, uh, he should be put on trial for, for, for treason, among other things. Of course, he should be fired, but Obama, he's Obama's buddy. He's Obama's boy. He's not going anywhere. Uh, it's just like uh, what's going on with, uh, with Bush. There's no difference here. You know, you've got to understand we're under tyranny, and they're just going to, you know, you know, just whitewash it. You know, Cheney and, and Rumsfeld, or, uh, Rockefeller, they, these people are all, they're all, they're all murderers. They're, they're, they're literally, they torture us. I mean, come on, Bush is wanted in certain countries if he goes there, but nobody covers, nobody says anything, they don't want to talk about it. You know, you're not being an American, you're unpatriotic. Well, listen, if you start backing people instead of backing principles, this is going to be a disgusting world because the principles are what we have to, the principles of our founding fathers, the principles of our constitution are being eroded on a daily basis. There's not any doubt about it. There's no, I, I'm gonna go through this, this whole show when, as we're slowly just scratching the surface as to getting into the meat and potatoes of the criminal justice system and, and, uh, and the prison system 
and the the, that the compartmentalization that's involved, all, again, for the corporate control, privatization, the big P word. Now listen, sounds like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a right wing person, right? No, well, well, the left is just as bad, because their agenda, the George Soros trying to control the, this whole, uh, you know, uh, Occupy Wall Street, <clears throat> this whole thing, uh, they're definitely behind uh, all this, uh, you know, any, any attention that we're getting from that, from the media, is controlled, as usual. So, onward and over the mountain, Obama did have a Nixon moment when uh, House Republicans request the special counsel to probe on Fast and Furious. This might be his moment. This is actually from Fox News. Uh, House Republicans are calling for a special counsel to determine whether Attorney General Eric Holder perjured himself during his testimony to the House Judiciary Committee. Of course he did. Operation Fast and Furious, Fox News has learned. The House, it's, he did it on, we can, it's on film. <laughs> it's hilarious. But, well, we, well, let's see if we should. I mean, the guy did it on film. I mean, now, this is why they don't want things to be on film, but they want to film you so they can incriminate you. Police do it all the time. They always try to say they're trying to pass laws even that a, a person can't, somebody almost got a life in prison and no joke, he got... He he there he appealed he got off and they're, they're actually the states actually had the audacity to appeal life imprisonment because he filmed a police officer I mean that's just in a public place not in a private moment so uh, you know you got to understand this is what's happening wake up we're being we're being taken over here okay anyway um, so this is just uh, an incredible story and um, the question is whether Holder committed perjury during the just Judiciary Committee committee hearing on May 3rd, and at the time Holder indicated he was not familiar with the Bureau of Alcohol and Tobacco and Firearms and Explosives programs known as Fast and Furious until about April 2011. I'm not sure of the exact date, but I probably heard about Fast and Furious for the first time over the last few weeks, is what he testified, which is a lie. Moving on, new Fast and Furious documents, of course, now lead us to uh, Republican presidential candidate Rick Perry who said that on Saturday he would get the U.S. military involved in Mexico's drug war with the cartels. Oh, that's really brilliant. That's a good move, Mr. Uh, 2007 Bilderberg attendee, globalist. Uh, unbelievable sellout. Backer of Al Gore, now a Republican. I mean, this is just unbelievable. His campaign manager, you got to understand this, with that whole global warming fraud, and remember, the deindustrialization of America. This is what's happening. This is a good thing for America, Larry. I'm telling you, this is a good deal. It's a good, it was a good deal for him and his interest in his oil companies. While he's, while he, he's, got, he, he's got interest in oil companies and he's preaching about global warming. I mean, the fraud of that. Climate gate. Come on, everybody knows. Anyway, so this, this moves on because, of course, ATF is now has ties... Uh, with, which is shades, of course, of Iran-Contra. Well, it never went away. Now in Afghanistan, the CIA is bringing heroin, okay, on record. Now you have uh, in, in, in the Iran-Contra scandal, which was, uh, of course, the Ali North with supplying guns. for. It's the same thing. It's just the same. They do the same operations, or they continue, or just shift their emphasis. Now, of course... They want the cocaine from Mexico, and they're bringing in the heroin from Afghanistan. And it's very easy, just like in Vietnam, they were bringing the heroin from the Vietnam on military transports. Frank Lucas, on record. What, do you think that uh, he just had some ins on that? That was high level. You can't let that, doesn't happen. See, everybody's got to understand, unfortunately, we have a criminal government, or elements that are in the highest places are criminals, running what we think to be a good and we are, we're all good people, but we're compartmentalized, and that's what compartmentalization is. You know, it's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know that we're doing evil tyranny uh, and oppression uh, covertly and psychologically, uh, war, you know, having psychological warfare against you. No, we, we don't want you to know that. That's the problem. That's the situation.